trash because it can't record audio is what I'm going to do. It's been two years since, since my last vlog. I didn't put the camera in the trash. The only thing I put in the trash is myself. Look at that. In other words, welcome to Nativo. The advantage of vlogging here over a big city is that in a big city people can stop you, ask questions, stare at you like while you're talking to a camera. And here people don't know what a computer is, so when they see a camera they think it's a satellite receiver and I'm talking to aliens. So they don't even ask questions, they, they are too scared of it. It's time to get the hell out of here and hopefully I won't miss my train. <laughs> but why do they cost so much and why do they break so often? Okay, quick here. A quick Q&A. How many shorts have you changed during this vlog? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, I want to explain what's wrong with this vlog, why it's such a mess. You can see it started on the last day of school and I was riding with the floor mop, everything was great and then what happened is in, at school they told me I failed one of the exams and I had to go to school during the vacations and I had a terrible mood, I was in a terrible mood and when I'm in a terrible mood I can't vlog and then you would see this two years later thing <sighs> and that's why I had like how many five different shorts and the events in this vlog are not connected to each other I have the last exam tomorrow and we'll see if I pass this time if no I'll have to go again and like the extra lessons and do it next year and that sucks so I thought like after then I will be back to normal vlogs but in the meantime I could do like a new series which I think I could call flight stories uh, every now and then I will share some experience or some interesting things that happened on the flight or during some traveling and maybe that would be interesting. I'll record an intro for the next flight stories but today I'll just get into the story. Uh, so this was in December two years ago. Me and my mom well, were constantly flying to the Czech Republic to Prague. We were obsessed with Prague and like we're going only only there. And 
This time we found pretty cheap flights with a lot of Polish airlines to Warsaw. And <clears throat> like we, we said, we we'll still go to Prague, it's just 11 hours by bus. So, so we went there and we were in Prague, everything was good, but on the way back, it's a little bit complicated. SIM cards in Poland costs, cost one dollar and we could get a SIM card and like be in contact, but we didn't do that and we lost each other and I just stayed in some shop and my mom was... I don't know where and I just didn't know what to do with flights flight was departing in an hour and a half, in two hours and I didn't know where my mom is I didn't know how, how, how to get to the airport and I told the shop staff I, I don't know what to do they called the police and uh, there was like a kids shop and we're, uh, <laughs> we were playing some games with the police like the police came and there were remote controlled cars and I was playing with the police with, with those cars uh, Poland had really nice police and then they tried to call my mom I didn't have her number and uh, eventually the police got me a SIM card uh, I wrote my mom on Facebook and she said she's at the airport and then the police just took me to the airport we were going like 200 kilometers an hour with the sirens uh, through or so we got to the airport in like 10 minutes from the city center it's it's an impossible time I don't know no public transports or or even by car you can't get so fast to the airport and I got like right to the terminal my mom was there and the lady at the check-in didn't let her on a on the flight because she had over or overweight luggage like maybe 8 kilos over the allowed weight the allowed was like 20, she had 20 something 20, almost 30, 30 kilos and the, I don't remember if they told that she can't get, take it completely or she, or she had to pay or whatever but we didn't have the option to do what they said and I just I was learning Polish for two months at that time and I just I just came to the airport with the police and I say if I can take this luggage uh, I don't want to fly to Israel I want to stay in Poland I don't like Israel and <laughs> the lady that she in she was like it's better in Poland right uh, and she, she just took this like overweight luggage and she took it for free and she said go on the flight it's okay <laughs> and that's not the end on the flight we had like like a stupid a like Christmas tree and it didn't fit in the overhead compartment it didn't fit under the seat it was impossible to put it anywhere and the flight crew told us we can't have it on our laps because it's big and during takeoff you can't have anything with you so I didn't know what to do and then like some maybe like the I don't know how to call it someone who is like the more important flight attendant I know I don't know who and she ha she like comes and asks in English what is that I say in Polish it's a Christmas tree <laughs> and like half of the plane is laughing uh, and she just just took this stupid tree put it in business class on a business class seat because it was free and uh, nobody was sitting there and uh, she, she tried to calm down the situation, but people st stood up, started taking pictures, taking pictures of that Christmas tree in business class, and, and that was something crazy. And then the rest of the flight was okay. So that is the story. Uh, let me let me know if you like this. I know I didn't upload anything for for over a month, and maybe some people have left this channel, but I'm actually flying today to Poland, so. The logs will be a little bit pre-recorded, so I will be able to upload on time, two times a week, at least one time. I'll try. And yeah, let's let me know if you like these flight stories. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. If you're not new, 
please don't unsubscribe. I, I will be uploading more and yeah, till the next vlog on Friday.